up on NAZ Today. We'll give you an update of what Flagstaff is doing to prevent forest fires. And NAU's version of Project Runway becomes a kickoff for Earth Week. Good evening and welcome to NAZ Today. I'm Sierra Ferguson. And I'm Jacob Larson. Thanks for joining us. Stage 1 fire restrictions went into effect citywide this morning at 8 a.m. Flagstaff has banned any open fires within the city and smoking on the Flagstaff urban trail system and in the city parks. This announcement comes before the U.S. Fire Service makes their announcement regarding fire restrictions. These restrictions are coming a month earlier than normal, but with wildfire season starting early, fire managers say that it is important to take action. And a group of committed NAU students are banding together to make sure that the university is a welcoming place for everyone. This organization, Best Buddies, is reaching out with a new campaign, Spread the Word to End the Word. Monet Gunn joined one of the group's members in the studio to find out how Best Buddies are hoping to make a positive impact. Today I'm here with Jessica Beatman, the president of NAU's Best Buddy Campus Organization. Thank you for coming in today. Of course. So what exactly does your organization do on campus? Um, so what we do is we promote friendships and inclusion with people with disabilities. Um, so what we do is we um, hang out together as a big group. We go out to dinner. Um, we go bowling every Tuesday. Um, just kind of make friendships with people with disabilities. Um, and one campaign that we just did was spread the word to end the word. Okay, so what's spread the words in the word? Um, what we're trying to do is get people to be more knowledgeable about the words that they use. And the word specifically that we're trying to get people knowledgeable about is the word retarded. Um, it's no longer an acceptable term. It's not used in medical diagnoses anymore. Um, and so we're trying to get people to not use it as, you know, an, a, in the everyday language. Um, and so what we're, we're trying to replace that word is with respect. So if a person was to use the word, the R word, in the conversation with another person, what would you encourage them to do? Um, what I kind of use it as is a teaching moment and ask people, um, you know, that's really not an acceptable term. Is there maybe something else that you can use? Um, and so I just kind of approach it not as I'm really mad about that. I just ask them to kind of be more respectful about the words that they choose to use. So since you've been a part of this organization, what are some of the changes that you've seen? Um, some of the changes that I really enjoy is definitely the friendship bonds that connect people with disabilities and non-disabilities. And so I think it's, with this campaign, it's really awesome to see all of us unite together for one cause and have all of our buddies come together um, and just really show people with disabilities that respect that, I mean, anyone on this planet deserves. So what are, some, what are some of the things that you guys have planned? Um, for the upcoming next week, we have kind of an award ceremony um, for our buddies just because to say thank you for everything that they've done. Um, we've just handed out Best Buddies t-shirts for all of our buddies and we're really excited about that. Um, and then for the future, we're going to continue to do the Spread the Word to End the Word campaign. Um, but we want to make it bigger than it was this year and kind of do a week thing where we get kind of the whole campus involved and we do some fun activities. We get our buddies to come out um, and just let the, camp the campus as well as the community know about how important this is. All right, thanks Jessica for coming in. To find out more information about Best Buddies campaign on NAU campus, be sure to check out our website at naztoday.com. Students at NAU are turning the runway green with a fashion show next week. Find out how. And meet the big fuzzy dog who was named after a bear in tonight's Pet of the Week. I was an ordinary guy, but I switched to Sublink's new internet. And now I can't stop being awesome because it's the fastest in town. Downloads, uploads, any kind of load, everything just flows at speeds 13 times faster than phone company DSL. Even when the whole family is online, there's no buffering. With DSL, we were suffering. Yep. Anything the phone company can do, I can do faster. Now that I have the next big thing from Sunlink. Now that I have a house full of easy. At Northern Arizona University, we're reaching for the stars. And I'm True Blue NAU. We're restoring our forest. And I'm True Blue NAU. It's our home away from home. And we're True Blue NAU. 
I'm learning to make the world a safer place. And I'm True Blue, NAU. We're building the 21st Century University. And I am True Blue, NAU. Shop with pride. Wear your Northern Arizona University gear on Fridays. Be True Blue, NAU. Don't look at me. Your hair's a bit frizzy today. Aww. <laughs> you should pick that up. Every day, kids <laughs> witness bullying. For you. They want to help, but don't know how. Teach your kids how to be more than a bystander. Visit StopBullying.gov. Welcome back. Now, Earth Day is right around the corner, and NAU is kicking off with the second annual Eco Fashion Show. Making a Mark took on a whole new meaning for these and a handful of other student models. It's time for the second annual Eco Fashion Show. On Monday the 21st, these lumberjacks will be strutting their stuff in outfits that are made almost entirely from recycled, reused, and organic materials. This is something really unique that NEU is bringing. You see so, much, so many cool things you never thought could happen with a, a cup or a trash bag or a newspaper. Like, you know, there's so many um, creative materials that are being used within these outfits. Show welcome designers of all stripes, from freshmen to grad students. Now they're inviting the audience to participate as well. The audience will be on their phones, and at the end of the show, we'll have a final walkthrough from through all the designers and models. Then they'll vote text which one they want to win, and so we'll gather that information, and then we'll have the final result. Many animals have passed through the doors of the Coconino Humane Association looking for a loving home, and we opened up our studio doors to welcome one of their current residents. Here's Danielle Davila with tonight's Pet of the Week. The Coconino Humane Association is again here in our studio for another Pet of the Week. I'm here with Mark and his friend Coda. Can you tell me a little bit more about Coda? Oh yes, Coda is a fabulous boy. Uh, for a big breed, he is... Um, very easy to handle. He uh, walks well on a leash and uh, at seven years old um, he's pretty much been socialized to everything. He loves people, he loves kids, uh, he gets along with all other dogs he's been paired with um, and uh, he, he's got so much potential. Mm -hmm. But uh, he's been a hard adoption. The, the reason he's been with us three weeks is because of his size. <laughs> and it's hard for folks to, to keep a dog like this in a, in a smaller setting or environment. Um, so uh, we really desire a, a nice yard for this guy. He is an in and out dog. He's housebroken and uh, just very well behaved and friendly. Can you tell me a little bit more about his personality? What makes him special? Oh, I think his love of kids and just having fun. The, he's so easygoing and uh, so e and he, he his um, personality just brightens up whoever's handling the, him um, because he just rubs right off on folks. And uh, uh, like I said, we we really hope to find this guy a nice home. I mean, it really seems like he has a lot of love to give. He really does. Now, he's, he's able so to be adopted today. He is able to go home today. Um, he has been neutered, so he can leave right upon adoption from the shelter. And uh, again, like I said, um, a, a dog this size does need a little room to run and, and exercise, but he will go anywhere and do anything. Travels well in a car. And uh, like I said, his, his personality just brightens everybody's day. I would really love to take him home. <laughs> I don't well, thank you. you so much for coming into the studio today. We really appreciate it. For more information about CODA, you can visit our website, naztoday.com. After a dry, sunny week, can we expect to see any clouds coming in? Brooke Cowell will have the details in your five-day forecast coming up. Hi, I'm Terry Markson. As seasons change, so does the inventory at Terry Markson Chevrolet Cadillac. But before we make room for the 2014 Cadillac, we've still got a huge selection of brand new 2013s to choose from. Models like the powerful CTS, the ATS voted 2013 Car of the Year, the popular SRX Crossover, and Cadillac's Crown Jewel, the Escalade. You can always count on our same relaxed, no pressure environment. Terry Markson Chevrolet Cadillac, real hometown value. 
Thank you for calling your GED pep talk center. All right, now, are you ready for your GED pep talk? Being nervous is okay. It just shows that you're serious about getting your diploma. A lot of things are scary. Heck, I'm scared of clowns. No quiero oír. Then, no lo puedo hacer. DMC, liking your pep talk style. Just keeping it real, Deb, just keeping it real. Whatever motivation you need, we've got a pep talk for you. Get your GED pep talk and find free classes at yourged.org. Welcome back. I'm student forecaster Brooke Cal. Thanks for joining us. Pretty overcast day we had here today w with that storm I was talking about earlier in the week. It did finally reach us. We've seen some of those rain. We've seen some of that rain already start to fall and it will only pick up and get a little bit heavier throughout the night and into tomorrow with this low pressure system that we have here in lower California and up here in northern Arizona. It will start to get a little hot, a little cooler and our rain will get a little heavier throughout the night and tomorrow. For your average temperature today, we were still above the norm, ex e even with that rain. It was about 63 degrees today. We're at 59 with the normal temperatures. Nowhere near our record temperatures. I think that's the highest one we've seen all weekend. Hopefully with this rain that we will be seeing throughout the night, our precipitation levels will start to build up to a little bit closer towards normal. F tonight it will reach 35 35 degrees, still warm for us over the night, even with those light rain showers that we've had. Sunset is at 702, so make sure you catch that after the show. Tomorrow, it will be our, our coldest day of the week with 59 degrees, cloudy and cooler, and with that rain starting to pick up early in the morning, but we'll start to slow down again later tomorrow night. For, for if you are traveling for the Easter weekend, it's pretty nice all across, the, all across the United States here. As it will be a nice day on Sunday, especially that rainstorm will be out of our way and out of our hair by Easter Sunday. It'll be nice all throughout, sunny here. There will be a little rain in the mid and especially down in Texas, but still warm over here in Florida. And for you across the state today, it was pretty cold for all of us around here. 68 in Payson, 68 in Prescott, 87 down in Phoenix, and the highest with 89 over in Lake Havasu. For your five-day forecast, rain again tomorrow, 65 on Sunday, and those temperatures will rise up on Monday, but then start to drop down again and become a little more windier throughout the rest of the week. And for you down in Sedona, you also will have some continuing rain tomorrow and Sunday. Happy Easter. Have a great weekend. And those temperatures will start to rise again for the U in the beginning of the week next week. Excellent. Well, I'm glad to see it warming up for Easter. It's always exciting to have a sunny holiday, and that rain's going to help us take care of the Friday or the fire season that's been really going on. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Thank you so much for joining us. and prepared foods promptly. One in six Americans will get sick from food poisoning this year. Keep your family safer. Check your steps at food.